Hello everyone, with me today is something very new. In fact, tell me what you see. You are watching Oakland Tobacconist. <laughs> If you're interested in Rorschach, the newly released Robusto size, or many other Blackworks Studio or Black Label Trading Company, check us out. On our website, you know where to find us. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It really helps us here on the channel. I want to make certain we can deliver to you the best experience and the best education for all things pertaining to cigars. Okay, in my hand is a new release, and as you uh, probably know, this is a Blackworks Studio cigar. Anything new from Blackworks, Black Label, I'm always very excited about. However, this is not necessarily a new blend. It's simply the original blend in a new twist. This is the Rorschach cigar, made by Blackworks Studio. Comes in a 50 count like cabinet box, um, but it was released at the PCA Trade Show 2022. And uh, what was released was the Robusto size. So originally it, they called it like a Petite Panatella, very short, almost like cross between like a Petite Corona and a Cigarello, very small cigar. Uh, fantastic flavor, however, very small. I, I was super excited to see James Brown releasing it in a Robusto. And it's time to put it to the test. This Rorschach boasts a Habano wrapper over Nicaraguan binder and fillers. And that Habano wrapper is very oily, very rich in texture, and it's time to put it to the test. How does it smoke in a Robusto size? This particular size is a uh, four and a half by 48 sort of short Robusto. Beautiful looking cigar, beautiful presentation, as always from Blackworks. And we're gonna go ahead and pull this here, and we're gonna take a look. So, definitely a short Robusto, as you can kind of see right there. Uh, however, I like the, uh, the creativity that Blackwork uses. Um, but let's go ahead and dive into this. On the foot, sort of a dry tobacco. Jumping into the toasting. So, very good out output. There's immediately like a, a cereal, almost floral note too. Grainy cereal. Um, but there's definitely that Habano-like creaminess to it. Um, that Habano, like that, like pie crust sweetness that you get in a Habano, um, definitely there. Right out the gate, there's a lot of flavor. Um, immediately, my mind is drawn to something like a hazelnut coffee. Not exactly that's what I'm tasting, but that's what I originally would like to pair it with. Like going directly, that's where my mind takes me for some of that sweetness. I love the retro hail though. There's just enough like white pepper on there to like let you know it's there, but it's very faint. So it's complimenting. It's not like forward on there. Smoke output is fantastic. The, uh, the wrapper leaf itself is very oily, very like shiny oily. Uh, on the dry draw, I was getting more like this dried cereal, this like floral in the back. Um, quite a bit of things going on for such a small cigar. So that's at the first third. I'm going to continue to smoke it. Let's see where we end up in the second third. Okay, here we are, second, third. Unfortunately, the ash did fall off, but I actually bumped it on the ashtray and then had a whole situation. Getting into the second, third. So I noticed off the bat too, there was another flavor note I couldn't really uh, like articulate and figure out. And then I pinpointed it. And some Habanos I've had in the past, ones I really like when they like reach and strive for the complexity is you find like almost this sour note. Now sour is not always a like complimentary tone and I've had some that definitely is not, but when it's accented, when it's just in the back, it really like gives it a full bodied like flavor going on. So that was there. However, I will say getting into the second third, I'm getting warmer tones, sweeter tones. And some of those, those uh, like white pepper and sourness is starting to move back a little bit. So I'm gonna take another puff here. There's like definitely a pie crust you sometimes find in Connecticut's. A little bit earthy, that floral note is still right there, and there is maybe a twinge of like espresso powder, but just barely. A lot of things going on, very impressive for such a small Robusto. I'm gonna continue to smoke this. We'll see where we land in the final third. Okay, here we are, final third. I bumped it again, ash fell off. However, uh, very tightly packed, so I'm, I'm curious. I wanna do this again and see uh, without having to like set it down and such and see how well that holds. Other than that, the burn in spite of that falling off is impeccable. Burning really, really well. 
and the flavors are definitely ramping up and maybe even the strength a little bit too. Um, draws perfect, smoke output is right where I want it, um, but definitely moving towards those warmer tones. Um, but also an intensity of flavor. So before when you had some of these like floral notes and very like forward like cereal, like almost Cheerio sweetness, um, it's ramping up more to like a, on that espresso powder or like warmer tone. So I'm gonna try again, let's see where we land. Definitely there, really complex and like maybe like a toasted element. Maybe some of that like cereal element I was getting is more toasted. But fantastic cigar, especially for the price, uh, and as always, delivering on the complexity of flavor from Blackworks. That is the newly released Rorschach Robusto. This is available. If you'd like to try this out, medium strength, Habano, but complexity all over. So definitely worth checking out. As always, thank you for hanging out and smoking with me here on the channel. As always, I am Eric. You have been watching Oakland Tobacconist.